Hello and welcome to Pete's Paleo Pet Shop. My name is Patricia and I'm Pete's assistant here at the shop. I'll be presenting a story featuring Ron the Ramphorinkus. Keep away. Dry weeds crunched under rubber as Pete pulled into a stop a short way from the lake. With a turn of his wrist, he shut off the ignition and clipped his keys onto his belt. He shoved his hat on his head as he shrugged open the door, and his heavy boots trampled the reedy stems as he walked to the little shed. It was a simple wooden structure with three walls near the shimmering lake shore. Wire fencing extended past two of the walls, and a camouflage shade cloth enclosed the top. Creatures like small, birdie dogs hopped from perch to perch within, or scrambled across the ground with their wings folded like bats to poke their toothy beaks through the fence. They squeaked and clambered over each other with their long, thin tails waving like white-spotted flags behind them. Hey, fellas! Pete reached for the latch, his every move followed by their large eyes and quick movements. With a faint click and small creak of the hinges, the gate exploded in a mass of gray and white wings. Pete stepped back and ducked his head under one arm, laughing. Some flew over to the lake and splashed down into the water with a plunk, only to bob back up with just their heads breaking the surface of the water. Some flew to a higher perch in the giant cypress trees surrounding the lake. A few circled around him, squawking. Something heavy slammed into his backside. Pete swirled around, craning his neck to see what hit him, and one of the creatures swerved sideways in a flurry of leathery wings. He caught a flash of sunlight on metal in the fish-trapped teeth. Hey! He tried to grab it, but his hands only caught air. That's not a fish! The creature was already high in the sky, keys glinting in its beak, and soon three of them chased after it. They screeched like fighting toddlers and pecked at each other. Pete saw the glint of his keys plummet toward the lake. But the foolish creatures didn't even notice, and he watched helplessly as he ran to the nearest shore. A faint plunk, a tiny splash, and Pete's keys disappeared into the water. A dark, streamlined shape dove in after it with a sploosh. Another of the flying fiends must have seen the shiny metal. Pete squelched to the soft bank, water licking the toes of his boots, and watched the surface to see where it would come back up. There, a small head broke the surface of the water not far from where he stood. Good job fishing out the keys! Now, can you bring them back? Pete leaned forward as far out into the water as he dared. The creature looked sideways at him, tilted its head back, no, don't, and swallowed.